Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim this mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. In memory of his life, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, and all our bishops. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. In preparation for communion with the risen Christ, we pray his prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, for the kingdom of God, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the peace of the Lord.
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we invited to communion with him. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. For those of you at home, join with me now in the act of contrition. Oh my God, I love you with my whole heart, with my whole soul, and with all my strength. I am sorry for all the sins of my whole life that I have committed against you and for the sins I have committed against my neighbor. With my whole heart, I forgive anyone who has ever made me suffer and anyone who has been my enemy. With my whole heart, I ask forgiveness of everyone whom I have wronged and of everyone to whom I have given pain. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we honor you give us the sacraments of eternal redemption. May we who honor the memory of the mother of your son rejoice in the abundance of your grace and experience your unfailing help. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go from this Eucharist in the peace of Christ. Our thanks to an anonymous donor from Toronto, Ontario, whose generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. On behalf of Father Bush, Father Fitzpatrick, Father Donovan, Father Lynch, and all of us here at Daily Mass, our best wishes for a restful weekend, and we'll be looking for you all again come Monday. Jesus, I...